sing song shall we sing that song are you all ready very good come on all you all sing along with me okay shall we start okay good morning good morning good morning to you have a nice day have a great day it's wednesday today good morning good morning good morning to you have a nice day have a great day it's wednesday today shall we sing little faster okay good morning good morning good morning to you have a nice day have a great day it's wednesday today good morning good morning good morning to you have a nice day have a great day it's wednesday today so what day is today today is wednesday so now shall we see what day it is today and how can we write the date shall we see okay very good okay now let's see what day is today today is wednesday and the date is 24 and the month is june and the year is 2020 now let's see how can we write this date okay so tell me what is today's date today's date is 24 so first you have to put 24 and after putting 24 what we must put we must put a big standing line and after putting big standing line what we have to put what is the month this month is june so let's see in months of the year what is the june when june month is coming see the first month is january second month is february third month is march fourth month is april fifth month is may and the sixth month is june we are in june month right so what is the number 6 so what we must put we must put 6 and after putting 6 what we have to put we have to put a big standing line and then what is there 24 june then year what is the year 2020 so we have to put 20 20 easy right so what is the date 24 6 2020 Now let's see what is the weather today. Now let's go out and check what weather is today. You check whether it is sunny, cloudy or rainy. You check and tell your parents. Come on all get up and go and check the weather. Okay. Now tell me what we learned in last math class. In last math class we learned pre number concepts right in pre number concepts what are the things we learned we learned big small long short tall short and same and different we learned right so these five pre number concepts we learned What are the five pre number concepts we learned? We learned big, small, long, short, tall, short, same, different. No five, four pre number concepts, right? Okay. Today, ma'am is going to teach you few more pre number concepts. Ma'am is going to teach you by action. Okay. First, let's see above and below. what is above see now you just consider my mom hand as a table okay this is the table what is this mom you just consider okay you just think you just think that mom hand is a table so what is this this is a table now what is this this is the remote okay now if i keep it on this if it if i keep it is keep it like this means what you have to say you have to say remote is on the table it is on because it is on the table if it's like this means what you will say you will say remote is above the table remote is what above the table now if it's like this means it's below the 
table. So if it's like this means what? Above. And if it's like this means below. Okay. So this is above and below. So if I show you the action like this means what you have to say? This is above and this is below. Okay. Now all hold your hand like this. All hold, hold your hand like this. Now what is this? If I put my finger inside this hole means what is this? In. In. And if I take it out? Out. In. Out. In. Out. Okay. And now all open your hands like this. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. And in which hand you will eat? In which hand you will eat? You will eat with the right hand. You will eat with the right hand. You will write with the right hand. So this is the hand in which you will eat is known as what? Right hand. And the other hand is known as what? Left hand. Okay. So, so far what are the pre-number concepts we learnt? What is this? Above. Below. In. Out. Open. Close. And then what? And we learnt right and left hand. Okay. What is right? In which, in which hand you will eat? The hand in which you will eat is known as what? Right hand. And the next hand is what? Left hand. And we have one more pre-number concept that is more and less. What is that? More and less. I will show you with the example. Okay. Can we see that? Okay. okay. Next in pre-number concepts, ma'am is going to teach you more and less. For more and less, ma'am has taken two bowls. Okay. In this two bowls, in the first bowls, ma'am has put some toy. In both the bowls, ma'am has put some toy fishes. In the first bowl, let's count how many toy fishes are there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, how many fishes are there? Seven fishes are there. How many fishes are there? Seven fishes are there. In the second bowl, you count. One, two. How many fishes are there? Two fishes are there. Now tell me in which bowl we are having more fishes and which bowl we are having less fishes. Yes, in the first bowl we are having more fishes and in the second bowl we are having less fishes. Can you understand this more and less? Very good. Okay, next we are going to learn is what? Zero concept. What is zero concept? What is zero concept? What is zero? Zero means what? Zero means nothing, right? So we cannot say nothing, right? So that's why we are saying zero. Now let me teach you what is zero concept, okay? Now see, in my hand, ma'am is having anything? Is ma'am is having anything in my hand? No, not, no, ma'am is not having anything, nothing in my hand, right? See, now ma'am is having, in my left hand, ma'am is having one apple. In my right hand, is ma'am is having anything? No, ma'am is not having anything. So, which means what? Instead of telling nothing, what we must say here, in this left hand, how many apples ma'am is having? One apple. In my right hand, how many apples I am having? Zero apples. So that is what? Zero concept. I will show you one more example with the fishes. Okay? Can we see that? Okay, come. Let's... So now we are going to see zero concept. Right? So to explain the zero concept, ma'am is having two bowls. Like, like how I showed you for more and less. Okay? So in this two bowls, Ma'am has put in one bowl, ma'am has put some toy fishes. So, so let's see how many toy fishes are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many toy fishes are there? 7 fishes are there. And in this bowl, how many fishes are there? No fishes. No fishes means what we must say? We must say 0 fishes. 
so in this bowl how many fishes i am having seven fishes in this bowl i am not having any fishes so i said zero fishes so this is zero concept 